I tried to pull my broken car down a hill with my working car using only a rope. Now I have two broken cars. I had shaved but at my work I saw there was still one hair left to the side of my mouth. I tried burning it off with a lighter and instead burned off half my eyelashes. So on one side my eyelashes were half their normal length. In elementary school during recess a few friends and I wanted to play dodgeball. We didn't have any actual dodgeballs laying around, so we used a few basketballs. We decided to stop playing after one of my friends and I had to go to the nurse. When we were playing tag, and I ran across the road so I wouldn't get tagged. Yeah, kids, don't do that. Having a car smash your leg doesn't hurt, but you'll really wish you hadn't done that. Telling my teacher that I had done my homework, and she asked to see it. Shot an arrow straight up in the air and lost sight of it. I survived. It landed about 30 feet away and well planted in the earth. I wish I could say I was 10. I was 22. I once decided it was a good idea to ride a fucking bike down a slide. I tumbled off the side and hit a wire fence. I was stuck. I kicked my way out of it, but I proceeded to slam into the slide. It fell on me, and I knew I was defeated. An hour later I did the same fucking thing. Note that I was a kid when this happened. I jumped off a moving bus and landed on my face. Not smart. Asking a girl to marry me after the first date. Got my little brother some Lego. Regretted it 3 days later when I must have stepped on at least 10 pieces of Lego scattered around our house. It hurt a lot. I'll preface this by saying I was 14. I stayed over at a friend's house and forgot to bring my contact lens solution. My thinking was, saline is kinda salty right? So I put my lenses in a cup mixed with water and salt. The next morning when I put one of them in. I was showering, and I thought of a time when I heard that during a lightning storm, you can get electrocuted through the water in the shower. I thought about how I could create like a rubber suit to prevent electrocutions in the shower. I was seriously thinking about this for like half an hour, until I realized I'm a moron. Because you can't shower with a full rubber suit on. Bleaching my eyebrows. I loved the story of Peter Pan so much as a child, that I thought I could fly. I went to the top of the stairs in my house and jumped off. To make a long story short, I don't remember much of my childhood. I had a glass water bottle, it was half full so I decided that it was a good idea to flip it, since it had the right amount of water in it. You can take a wild guess on what happened next. So, when I was young, I was at my grandparents, and I had an argument with my dad. So, me being me, I run up the stairs very fast to hide in this small room upstairs. On the very last stair my foot loses balance, and I roll all the way back down the stairs in front of my dad's feet. Fun times. I put my finger in a fan, but not far enough it hurt it. Just far enough to feel it buzz. Then I thought I should stick it in further, and before I could stop myself I broke my pinky. I jumped off a 4 story building into a pool. It hurt a lot and I was red all over. Lost about $150 in one poker hand, thinking I had a straight. Once, I was soccer goalkeeper, since I'm good at goalie, it's fun, and no one else wanted to be goalie. A player takes a shot, and it was the worst shot ever, weak and right to me, so I was cocky and uvered it. I saved it, but it went back to a player on that team. They scored the open goal. Last Halloween I thought it would be fun, if I dressed in all black and answered the door without talking. Later that night my first set of trick or treaters came to the door. I opened the door and passed out the candy as normal. After that the kids asked me what I was supposed to be. I didn't think this through, but I answered them in the most ominous voice possible. I'm a black man. Needless to say the kids parents gave me a very strange look as I closed the door. When I was 8 my 11 year old brother would always tell me there was a spider on me, and no matter how many times that would happen I would believe him. One day I wanted revenge, so I took a small plastic spider from the Halloween decorations, put it on his back without him noticing, then told him he had a huge spider on him. He started to freak out. As he was freaking out I opened my mouth to tell him it was fake. He flung the spider right at my face. 
it ended up landing in my mouth and I choked on it. I had to go to the emergency room. Lit a whole packet of sparklers while holding them. I was exercising with a friend, running on a treadmill. I thought hey, I bet I could run on this backwards. Nope. Me, my cousin, and my uncle all thought it would be interesting to see a firecracker explode in water and watch, since the fuses were chemical and still went down even in water. It only took about a second after we dropped it into a glass jar that I had the thought, what if it breaks the glass? Sure enough, pop, and glass splinters and tiny partials everywhere. Three people couldn't put that together that this was a dumb idea. When I was around 3, before I could swim, I was playing in the shallow end of my uncle's pool. Now, like any curious child, a question popped into my head, at what point of the pool would the water be over my head? So I went and tested it out. One careful step after another careful step, trying to make sure I knew the exact moment where standing was no longer an option for me. Well, I never thought about what would happen when I eventually reached the point of no return. And, well, I got there. So, I started to drown. Now here's the thing about drowning. You can't call for help. The water chokes you. No air to make noise can come out. There I was, trying to scream for help and no one could hear it. Apparently, my uncle saw me and thought I was fine because I wasn't making any noise. Lucky for me, my mom knew drowning is a silent killer and snatched me from the clutches of my stupidity. I was at a performing arts summer camp. Some people there got the chance to put on a show for the rest of the camp at the end of the trip. On the day of the big performances, there was a girl sobbing saying her friend backed out and wouldn't perform with her. She asked if I knew the lyrics to Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On and begged me to sing while she played the music. She looked really upset and I thought I could half ass it so I agreed. Thought it'd be easy. Turned out I only knew one line of lyrics which were also wrong. So, I sang every night in my dreams, I see you, I see you, that is how I know you, going over and over, while the other girl sobbed while playing the recorder, in front of a hundred or so other kids and camp leaders. Most cringeworthy experience from my childhood. When I was 4 I stole a pair of scissors from preschool. When I got home I proceeded to chop my hair off very badly. I didn't know where to put the hair so I left it on the floor and hid under the sheets of my parents bed and cried. My babysitter didn't notice any of this. After an hour my parents come home, pay the babysitter, go to their room, see a massive pile of hair and a lump on their bed. When my mom took off the sheets she saw her daughter crying with the ugliest hairstyle ever. The next day I missed school and went to the barber. He completely shaved my head. I liked it for 5 minutes. Hated it for the rest of my life. Now I have long hair but I shouldn't have stolen those scissors. Next episode's question is, what is the most ridiculous false rumor that's been spread about you? You can use the link below to submit your answer. The best submissions will be featured next episode.